Hey, good morning, y'all. John the Collier here from Collier's Corner. Boy, it's a beautiful morning here in North Carolina, Central North Carolina this morning. We're on Falls Lake. Um, actually fishing um, a fishing pier on Beaver Dam. Fishing pier in Beaver Dam. I found this early this week. The wind was high. I think it was Tuesday morning. And I was just looking for some spots that were sheltered from the weather and ran across the fishing pier. Man, I caught a few crap off of it, so I figured I'd come back this morning. The gates don't open until eight. I got here about nine, Tuesday morning, I believe. So I wanted to get on these fish as early as possible. So I'm here. Um, winds are light and variable today, and it's nice outside. I think the, the overnight lows win the high 50s. So I'm gonna run on down here and get up on this pier and see what we can do, so y'all stay tuned. There he is. Pretty black crappy. Had a uh, phone call, man. Had a phone call, so I couldn't get him on camera. My apologies, my apologies. But yeah, he went on with it. He went on with it. I got to get down here and try to get some water in this bucket. Mm. I don't like that. No sir, no sir. Not right now this morning. Can't do it. Raising cane, boy. Some big must have got him. Yeah, y'all, I caught a nice handful of crappy in this spot right here. I think it was Tuesday morning I was here. The fish were holding a shallow. Like I said, I never fished this spot. Never fished it. So I brought an extra rod with me today. I'm gonna try to get it set up while I let that one sit right there shallow. See what happens. So y'all, y'all remember a couple of videos back I talked about uh, you know corks being so blame expensive and uh, I was going to try to look at cutting that cost well I've been working on that off and on And I'm hoping, I'm hoping by the end of the weekend, I've got it dialed in. I hope it's giving me a fit this week. It really has, but we'll see. That's that oops number one, y'all. I was fishing with a uh, What's number one stinger tail? I'm going to tell you. I have no more. I have no more stinger tail. So I'm going to throw off one of the crappy fruits. I'm just a chartreuse. Kaya's creations. Chartreuse. 
precision jig head it's my professional series it's got a bait keeper on it 3d eyes and it's tight it's tight it's tight jig here y'all um absolutely love it and every fish I caught earlier this week was tipped with a minnow with a minnow I'll take that instead of losing my stuff what a mess <laughs> what a mess I need the scissors for this one y'all yep looks like it's gonna be the scissors <laughs> look at that mess look at that mess Gee. hey y'all miss that crap is sitting right here freaking around with this freaking rod Took it to y'all. Ah, oh, shoot. Get that, get off there. Get, get your tail off of there. Hmm, I can't be down too rod, y'all. That joke ain't even hung. What is going on? Come here. I ain't nab it, bro. I mean, what, what, what is going on here? It's my darn fishing line. Oh, man. <sighs> Y'all, you know it's getting hung up, and then there's just, mm, I don't even know what this is. Don't even know what it is, y'all. It ain't fishing though, that's for certain. I'm on a mission. I wanna catch some crap. I'm gonna put some crap in, in this bucket and take them home. Me and the wife had some fish tacos last week. Where's my Baba style? Man. And I'm gonna tell you what, y'all, they were fantastic, boy. Fantastic. Probably my number one favorite way to eat crappy. And I, I'll show you one day. Scout's on it, man. Scout's on it. I'll show you one day the recipe and the, the two different ways that, that we have to prepare it in our household. Um, I may... I like spicy foods. I do. Um, notice the older I get, the more my body doesn't like it. But as long as I can still eat some spice, I'm gonna eat it. And uh, so we we typically do two batches because I use a what my wife deems to be a spicy bretta. I don't think it is, but, you know, I don't have her taste buds. That's some good tacos, y'all, I'm going to tell you. Got some sauce that I put on them. Boy, what you talking about? Let's go back over here and see if we can't catch that crab. But he took that cork. I was freaking around with another rock. Missed him. Absolutely missed him. Well, let's get to snipping. Calling Dr. Collier. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Mm. That's tragic right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I hope my knife is in here. Oh boy. Y'all just threw my scissors in the drink. I did. Nope, look at that. Threw my scissors right in the water. Dang nabbit, man. I'll tell you what, I won't even prepare the fish, honestly. Um, just one of them last minute things. <laughs> I decided last night to come in here and give it a try this morning. Because I took a liking to the spot. You know, not only did I catch some crap earlier this week, I mean, it's just peaceful, man. It's peaceful, it's beautiful. Um, can't ask for much more. One of the big benefits for me was, uh, you know, when I did fish this week, the um, the canoe launch, where I normally fish from the bank on falls, was flooded. So my, my fishing hole was underwater, where I, where I can stand. And I fished the other side of the road. I, on the way down there, I jumped up a, a heron. He was on the bank. And he was sitting on the bank while I ended up fishing. Well, son, it just started coming up on my way down. And I'm always mindful of the, the snakes. Because Falls Lake has a ton of snakes. Well, as I'm standing on the bank, putting minnows on corks, I look down and there's a snake wiggling on the bank. Here it was gone. So, I assume I messed the heron's uh, meal up. It gets better. So not only do I have a, a dying snake on the bank, here comes another. Hadn't been there five minutes. Come right down the bank. Just slithering down the water, his edge on the, uh, close to the bank. He went on about his business. About 15 minutes later, here comes another giant water snake. Well, the reason I ended up here was because this water snake evidently really wanted to be where I was at. And, you know, I, I don't mess with them. I don't, I, I give them the space best I can. But at the end of the day, I was fishing in that spot and this snake wanted it to be right now some unknown reason so I let him have it I let him have it I hadn't caught a fish anyway so I won't I won't too worried about it but big old one snake pretty pretty snake if you think a snake pretty I mean I do I don't like them but got some pretty markings on them and he did he had some pretty markings on them so anyway, I done some riding after I left. Checked another spot, flooded, and I ended up here. Noticed there was a fishing pier in here. The gates don't open till eight. And I figured I'd give it a shot. I was glad I did. Look, 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 look on y'all. Look on. I told you, man. Falls Lake is full of them. Sitting here talking about one, and there's one right now. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Told her. Told her. Couldn't get a good look at him. He gonna give me a better look at him now. I think it's a water snake. Round the head. Yeah, round the head. I think that's a water snake. But. Man, he need to go on about himself, man. Where? I 
I'm gonna tell you something, man. If I was fishing on the bank and that joker right there swam up, let me tell you something. John wouldn't have been no more good, you hear me? He going on about his business. John wouldn't have been any more good, y'all. I'm just letting you know. And probably would have ended up editing a whole bunch of video behind it. I was just over there filling that bucket up with water, too. Mm. Make sure he went on by cell. Y'all, the water's come down quite a bit. There you go. He's going on down the bank. The water's come down quite a bit since earlier this week. That log right there was underwater. That uh, that rock was underwater. A piece of concrete. Yep. He's going on down the way. Huh. Look at that. So, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So back to what I was saying about, oh no, what cool. Back to what I was saying about these these uh this spot, you know. So another another benefit for me was I was able to. It's paved, man. All the way to the pier is paved. So I ain't got to worry about, you know, focusing so much on my my footwork while I'm walking. And I can you know, get down here relatively quick. Not have to worry about looking down at my feet so much. Looking for one of them things right on I'm telling you, if you ain't got your eyes open when you're fishing the edges of these lakes, you might make a mistake. And I try not to, I'm going to tell you. I try not to. Do everything in my power to steer clear of them. I don't know what the problem was with that one earlier this week. That snake had me feel some type of way about myself. I was in his space. And I was. I know I was, but darn man. I like to eat fish too, you know. Alright. I found it done without one. Play that look like a brim, y'all. Nope. It's crap. It's crap. That's mm. it. Oops. That oops number one. Whoops. Oops number one. Yeah, baby. All right. Do it again. Oh, he straight crushed it. Crushed that metal. Oh no, 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 down now. Ah, oh, that's what we're catching on. We're catching on my, my hook keeper. I might have to cut that thing off. Well, yeah, hung right now. Let me see if I can get it. I'm rocking a baby to sleep. Hold oh, down. Rock a baby. Yeah, what a crap. That's a good one. 
Let's get crappy, y'all. He crushed it, too. When did he crush it? Sat that down long enough. He was tucked in tight up against that tree. I don't know what the heck that happened, man. I threw back over here on this side, boy. Had one cork go under. I got a cork with just a darn oops on it. That joker went under. I don't know what happened. I missed both fish. Both freaking fish, man. Real subtle bites, though. I'm going to tell you. Real subtle bites. Mm. Bite it again, you want to. You're going in the bucket. I'm just letting you know. Nest that crappy boy. Ooh. I finessed this pig. I finessed the crap out of that fish, y'all. Mm. Pretty crap. Pretty crap. Yeah, another finesse job. Another finesse job. Boy. I think I got them dialed in now, y'all. So, so I'm in back and forth on my retrieves. I think I found something they might like. I don't know. It's twice. Let's see if we can do it three times. Let's see if we can do it three times. I'm just working that, working that tree. That's all I'm doing. Throw him back. Man, I know it's fishing, man. I just had a bite. It's just a matter of, look, 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 look. There, ah, I missed him. I missed him. He ain't fully committed. I think that's a small fish, y'all. Give it back to him. But I have been wrong. Taking my guess is how big a fish is based on the way they, they react with the cork. Mm, I don't need that. Oh, y'all, what's going on over here? We got something on over here, y'all. What is this? What is this? What is this, y'all? Man, left the thing on the tent. Darn, what a perch. Mm. That's a bit crappy, y'all. Man, that's a bit crappy. Ooh wee. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, that's a pretty slab, y'all. I'm gonna tell you. A pretty slab on the Caney Creek. Oops, number one. Collier's Creations. Caney Creek. Oops, number one. It's clear plastic with black silver and chartreuse flake. And that's a precision 1 16th ounce jig head with 3D eyes. I'm gonna tell you, the fish have been killing it. Yes, they have. Oh no, 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 don't go down now. <clears throat> I won't even paying attention, y'all. It's been it's been a little while since I caught the last fish. Had to take a phone call, so I was a little preoccupied. And I almost didn't see the cork when I went up under the water. But 
he held on to it, which is good. And I'm gonna tell you, I need a daggone cane pole. That's what I need. I need a freaking cane pole. All this mess I got going on right here. I ain't mad though. It was a big fish. A big crap. Fish or no fish, y'all. Fish or no fish. Anytime you can get out here and then. Enjoy what God has given us. And soak it in. Man, there's another snake, y'all. Ooh, wee. What kind of snake is that? I might not be fishing them break-offs. Man, that's the second one I've seen today. He don't look friendly. I'm glad he don't look like a friend. Though. No, sir? I don't know. Hard to tell. Can't tell yet. There he is. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's going back his business. He'll be just fine. Leave it with a water snake. Believe it. He all up in the bushes though. Hey, I mean, I'm talking about fishing some of these break offs, man, but eh, I don't know. I don't know. If I can find one that's clean. Oh, he's down there. All right, but it ain't a whole lot of cover down there. I think we're gonna call it a day. Hey y'all, hey, 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 hey. We're done, we're done, I'm done. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. I got uh, six nice crappy in the bucket. Six nice ones. Probably gonna put them on ice, uh, ice them down. Because of the trip tomorrow, clean them all at one time. But man, what a fantastic morning. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful day, man. Beautiful spring day. You, you can definitely tell the heat's coming. You can definitely tell it. But uh, the, the ticket for me this morning was the two and a half inch crappy flute and the Cannon Creek glider and oops, number one color scheme. I'll post a picture in the video towards the end. Well, you can see that color combination. Man, it was the ticket, I'm telling you. Coupled with those uh, precision professional jig heads with the 3D eyes and a uh, tip with a metal. Every one of them would tip with a metal. So, with that being said, I'm done. And I appreciate y'all watching and subscribing. And stay tuned. I'm going to have another one here shortly. I hope. So, till next time, God bless you and thank you.